What we're encouraging you to do is claim an area. It doesn't have to be your specific neighborhood. Pick a street. You might be led to one. Just pick maybe you want one side of the street. We're saying 10 houses, 20 houses, 50 houses. If you want 100, but don't set your goals too high because see, what if you did this four times a year? What we're trying to do is get you activated. What, why is this important, Pastor? Because we gotta get you activated so that you're beginning to claim things and expect things. And so we're saying take 10 houses in a neighborhood, specific houses, know their address, know their location. Then we're praying and then we're gonna say each month, we're gonna give you a track that you would drop into that mailbox. If you can't drop it in, we'll drop it in for you. As long as you're praying, and then we're going to expect that someone's going to pick that up. I've seen it happen so many times. People pick something up at the right moment in their life, and it's a testimony that's going to touch their heart. And then that little secret at the end, would you give Jesus an opportunity? So what we're doing is we're sowing here so that we can reap over here. God is going to help you and your family and situations over here, but how can he help us if we're not doing something over here? How can he multiply? Um, remember this amazing story, two lepers outside the gate, famine going on. They decided, well, we might as well die and starve here or go and die quick. We'll go to the enemy's camp and they'll kill us. If you read that in the Bible, it said when the two starving lepers left the city to go to the enemy's camp, God took that as a way of affecting the enemy's camp. The, right after they began to march, God took that as an army. And you read it, and it says that over here, the enemy all got confused, and they all thought someone was attacking them, began to fight amongst themselves, and then they took off. So that the two lepers, when they turned up, they had everything. They were so rich. They had all the wealth of the whole enemy because God took the, the marching feet of two sick lepers that were starving, and he turned it into his army because God needs you and I to go. God needs you and I to say things so that he can multiply the sound of our voice, and he can multiply the sound of our steps. And then they said, boy, we better eat and enjoy ourselves, but we better go back and tell everybody else. So they went back, and they became the heroes. They were the zeros but then they became the heroes of the city, a starving city. Folks, there's more food than you'll ever need. Just come on out to the camp. The Lord has won the battle. These are secrets of prayer. These are many messages for you and for me.